So he wrote um, the foreword to this book, which is 940 pages long, whatever it is. Um, it's called Mandate for Leadership. And it's a, it's a transition project. So what they want to do is they want to get in there and they want to ram this shit through, okay? I just want to read a couple of key points in case people missed my thing. I think it's it's good to read. This is this is just to give you a flavor of what we're in for if Trumpy boy wins, because this is who's going to be running the country, okay? Oh, boy. Yeah, this is Kevin Roberts in the foreword to Mandate for Leadership, the Conservative Promise, um, the Heritage Foundation. Quote, okay, the next conservative president must make the institutions of American civil society Hard targets for woke culture warriors. They do not like woke. They call it the great awakening. Okay. This starts with deleting the terms sexual orientation and gender identity, which he calls SOGI, SOGI, diversity, equality, and inclusion, DEI, gender, gender equality, gender equity, gender awareness, gender sensitive, abortion, reproductive health, reproductive rights, and any other term used to deprive Americans of their First Amendment rights. I don't understand how the fuck that makes sense. But moving on, out of every federal rule, agency regulate, regulation, contract grant, regulation, and piece of legislation that exists. That means goodbye gay marriage. It means goodbye to That's trans right. people will just be criminalized completely. You know, they're, they're really this, they, they, they are in, we are getting into, and everyone throws this out there, but it's real. We are getting into Handmaid's Tale. Uh, oh, really, this is, and, this is Handmaid's, this is fucking that one. There right? Because yeah. it's going to be that if you have, if you're a woman and you, be, and you have ovaries at work and you have, uh, you know, your, uh, uh, your vessel for life, right? For hosting life is going to actually become property of the state. I swear to God, this is where they're going yeah. to where it's going to be. That's protecting life because you can't have a baby without a womb. And yeah. so therefore that womb is the life that we have to protect. Not you, the mother, you don't have agency in this because of your biology, we have to come in as a state and protect that because a child uh, can be born there and therefore must be born there. It's going to get into the must be. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to, and, and then we're going to have yeah. not just forced birth, but forced pregnancy. I'm sorry. It sounds hysterical to say that. No, it's I'm, not. It's written in the fucking document. It's written. Y'all are going to be livestock. You're going to be are livestock. They saying it in writing now. Yeah. They're putting it in writing. And the they is in a conspiratorial they. We've got names. We've got uh, packs, right? We've got, there's money. There's mm -hmm. people. There's, you know, there's agendas. There's organization. They have, uh, uh, all kinds of financial backing. They have tentacles and hooks into the halls of power from the Supreme Court to the, uh, hopefully for them, a future presidency to the Congress and to the federal uh, representatives, senators mm -hmm. and congressmen. 